So, it is now, losing track of time here, day four, I believe. Yes, maybe five. Um, but we got a little late start today, which is fine, because we don't have a lot of miles today. Heading up Whiteface and Esther, I believe is how you say it. We Whiteface get excited heading into the parking lot because you are going up, 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 up in the car. And then where the trail heads, you go down a little bit. But then when you start hiking, you drop quite a bit. And then this must be like maybe an old ski trail because it is the straightest trail I've ever hiked, straight right up the mountain. And, uh, <clears throat> geez, catch my breath here. It's, it's definitely up c consistently. So we're heading up towards Marble Mountain. It's only about 2,800 feet. And you actually don't go up on the summit. There's no trail to the summit. You kind of go around it. But up to Marble Mountain, it's just like I said, this trail is straight as an arrow all the way up. And, uh, and then you, you kind of turn and then it gets steep again. And you head up towards es Esther. So I don't know if we'll do that first or do white face first. We're hoping there is an auto road on white face. Hoping there's like a place to get some french fries. I've been french fries since I got here. And the hungry hiker doesn't have them. So maybe, maybe we'll get that french fry thing. And then we are getting a hotel. Well, we've got a hotel for tonight again. And uh, there's a Thai place that's closed on Sundays and Mondays. And today's Tuesday. So it's Thai for dinner. Well, here we are. First viewpoint. Um, I would think that right there is Marble Mountain. Like I said, the trail doesn't go over it. It looked like the trail kind of went along it. And then we'll turn. That's got to be white face behind me, or Esther, or one of those. I guess I'll have to pull out the GPS and look. But yeah, let's check out some views. So we're trying to figure out what this is. This is by the lookout. I'm not really sure. So if you know, comment below. Let's look through it though. Looks like there's only one of them, so it wasn't a fire tower. Here's another one of these things. These are out in the ski slopes in Vermont too, but I have really no idea what they use for. Speculated a rescue sled slide in there about that length. Shelter, emergency shelter. The one in Vermont's like really high though. So here we are at the intersection. Esther and Whiteface. Whiteface is up that way. Esther's that way. And look, a sign telling us Esther Mountain Path not maintained or marked. So none of them pass here were marked at all. That's a start. So Whiteface it is. 1.4 I think out and back for that last intersection hoping crossing my fingers and my toes hoping the restaurant or cafe is open and they have french fries but I tried googling it but I didn't have any signal back there so it's gonna be a surprise here we have the lookout mountain triple Ooh, some views Oh, shit. Oh, not very good 
views from up here. Well, kind of. If I had to guess, I'd say that's Esther over there. I was wrong about Whiteface earlier, but it was kind of behind the peak we were looking at. Well, now I got off that just in time. <laughs> I hear this beep as I'm coming down it, and I didn't know what it was, and all of a sudden the chill started up. Nice. Jeez, this setup reminds me just of Vermont. It's a little bit smaller. Base of the ski slope down there. I don't see the auto road. I thought we were gonna walk right by it soon here, but I'm not seeing anything. There's the quad we just were at the top of way over there. Well, that's why I wasn't seeing the auto road yet. Sections above me. Look at that. It's a lot of rock stacking. Whew. Well, here's the auto road. I think the summit's up that way. Views. Here comes that first car. Two. There's a a little parking area right there so you can cheat. This is a toll road though. That's what they have it down as. And it's actually a route on my GPS. 431. <laughs> it's Esther Mountain. There's where the trail came up right there. And it goes back in the woods. And up over there, along the wall again. There's the top of Lookout Mountain Quad. Triple, I mean. Excuse me, not quad. The tra oh, Yeah, the trail goes right up here. Yeah. Are you at the summit? No. I thought it, it looked like it was still like another half mile, but then I'm like, what the heck is this? I thought maybe it was like a wall through the summit. Like, oh, is this where the road goes up? And there's a lot of cars going by. Why didn't we drive? Yeah. Well, there just uh, was a Connecticut plate that went up here. I thought it was you. <laughs> I was trying to hitchhike. Nobody picked me up.
Whew, get the summit myself. I have it blocked off to the Taurus. That chair lifts open so you can take it up to that point and then hike up from there or on the other side take the auto road. Rory Roy, I think we're gonna get wet. It was just rolled right in on us. So there we go, some of the white face and the black clouds rolled in and scared all the tourists away. The people that took the gondolier, whatever the heck that thing's called up, and hiked up a little bit, they ran off. And then the people from the auto road couldn't get over to that spot. So we, after we had it uh, to ourselves. Met some cool kid from, oh geez, where did he say he was from? Oh, Pennsylvania. Talked to him for a bit and he's, we, and I left him on his own so he could have the summit to himself for a while. So anyways, work our way back down to the intersection. Head over to Esther. I think I'm saying that right. One is actually confirm or denied my pronunciation of that mountain so i'm gonna keep on calling it esther and it's right in front of me i'm looking at it yeah. so here we go catch up with tracy she's got quite a head start on me <laughs> i yacked for a while back where we started going back up Here we have the lookout at Lookout Mountain. That must be Esther right there, right? Over there? Yeah, it's got to yeah, be. Yeah, it's the highest point. Yeah, we're going to go along that ridge, along the ridge and up. And I guess no views. I mean, it's hard to compete with the mountain we just came off of. <laughs> That's right. I don't see any black clouds, though. I was going to say, it was so good that it's so good. We have white face over there. Coming down the back side of Lookout Peak. So here we are, summit of Mount Esther. Got a little bit of a view that way. A bunch of herd paths going off. I'm gonna go explore in a second. Maybe they'll go to a view. It's starting to rain out, of course, so I could get off this camera quickly. So anyway, let's just check out, there's a plaque here. I don't see a sign. We've got a plaque and a view of Whiteface. So let's check her out. Got the auto road down in here and the 
must be like the visitor center and then of course the sun whatever's at the summit we didn't get to see the inside so we don't even know what it was oh it's stopping raining every time i put my raincoat on it stops and here's a plaque 1938 to 1939, 4270 feet to commemorate Dr. Spirit of Esther and McComb, age 15, made the first recorded ascent of his peak for the sheer joy of climbing. Hmm. Whew, jacket's got to come off. Well. Ugh. I am not sure if that was even worth it, but there's what we got. I wonder if it connects, though. Definitely a toilet. Look at all the toilet paper. Because nobody knows how to bury toilet paper or take it out with them. Pack it out. Pack your damn toilet paper out. I did three days and I packed out my toilet paper every day because I couldn't dig a hole where we were camped and the privy was disgusting. <laughs> Third path number two. More toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. <laughs> and a drop off. I'm not sure. Okay, strike two. Third path number three doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Third path four goes nowhere. Hi. <laughs> You're almost there. Storms coming in again. So our decision to not camp out tonight probably was a good one because we were going to camp be camping quite high, um, and these thunder boomers have been rolling through all day. We just missed the last one. We got a little bit of the edge of it and got wet, um, but this one I think is going to be a little bit closer. But it's funny because it's blue sky right above me, but all black behind me coming this way. Um, they just been the wind's been blowing towards the trailhead actually and the, when we were on Whiteface it went by we thought it went over Esther but we, we talked to some people that were on Esther and they said they didn't even get wet so it must have gone in between the two mountains I don't know how it missed them I mean we were getting wet over there and it was dark but yet they didn't get any rain or so they didn't see any uh, dark clouds or anything so the way storms move sometimes is very interesting and confusing so Anyways, I get wet on this one on the way down. It's catching up with me. Get out hike it. Out hike in the storm. Blue skies and hail and rain. Getting it all today. Oh. You know, look, it already stopped. Did you take out your raincoat? Yeah. She takes out a raincoat and it stops raining. It works every time. <laughs> Thanks. Holy crap. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting here? You better hope that you were in a spot that didn't have any flow. Oh my god, did we make the right?
right decision not camping out tonight. Guess you would have got your, uh, tested your gear for rain. <laughs> Found any holes in your tent. Tested our friendship. <laughs> <laughs>